This is Chinese Pod. We're bringing you lessons in spoken Mandarin. My name is Ken Carroll. Hi there, I'm Jenny. Now we have a rather simple but rather useful dialogue for you today. If you're traveling in China and、mm. you're gonna sort of starting to engage in your first conversations in Chinese,、yes. and that can be confusing and mysterious at times. How you go mysterious. about it? Oh, I think so. Because、mm-hmm. you don't know what people are saying to you. Yes, <laughs> you don't understand it. So you ascribe this great mysterious, you know, <laughs> aspect to the whole thing. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. So we have.、Uh, where do you think this might take place? This particular d-、mm, dialogue. I see it in a public space. Public space. Maybe on the bus. Yeah, it could be on the bus. Or、uh, in the terminal. Oh、uh, yeah, airport, airport terminal. Airport waiting, terminal. Yeah, waiting to board. That's right. So、mm. it's somebody. F- Friendly, a friendly local approaching you to start a conversation. Yes. All right. So let's listen to it three times, and then we'll do what we always do. Dialogue, first time. 你会说中文吗？我会说一点。你会说英文吗？英文，我不会说。Second time， 你会说中文吗？我会说一点。你会说英文吗？英文，我不会说。Third time。你会说中文吗？我会说一点。你会说英文吗？英文，我不会说。Okay. A moment of awkwardness at the end. <laughs> <Yes> . And <laughs> mystery. It's like, what do I say next? Yeah. Well, that's why you're here on Chinese Pod to figure out what you're gonna say next. But、mm. let's get this started anyway. Let's figure、yeah. out the how that what actually happened there, right? Hmm. You 会说中文吗 ？Do you speak Chinese? 你会说中文吗 ？Can you speak Chinese? 你会说中文吗？我会说一点。你会说英文吗 ？Um, a little bit.、Uh, can you speak English? 我会说一点。你会说英文吗 ？Uh, a little bit.、Uh, can you speak English? 我会说一点。你会说英文吗？英文，我不会说。Oh, English?、Uh, no, I I don't speak it. 英文，我不会说。English? No, I can't speak it. English, I won't say. Ah,、uh, mm. there you have it. Now, of course, you, you, what are you going to do now if you, you know, you don't speak each other's language? What would you do?、Ken? What would I do? Yeah.、Mm, I'd probably use gesture <laughs> <laughs> or a grunt.、Uh, I don't、uh, know. Yes, that's the whole point of the exactly.、Mm-hmm. You know what I'd do? I'd whip out my iPod and my、yes. PDFs. And、yeah. Start studying. Yes. That's what I would do. And probably having the Chinese person teach you. Exactly. You.、Mm. Exactly. Now let's look at it in a little bit more detail.、Uh, the first sentence is a classic piece of high-frequency Lexus. Let's have it, Jenny. 你会说中文吗？你会说中文吗 ？Now,、uh, the word for Chinese is 中文。Chinese. The tones on Chinese are first and second. First and second. Now that's an interesting combination. I'd like to hear that again, if you wouldn't mind. Chinese, Chinese, Chinese. Hmm. Very good. And that means the Chinese language. Yes, exactly. All right. The one it refers to language. Language. Sometimes also with a sort of literary yeah, connotation there, but、mm. anyway, Chinese means Chinese. Chinese. Now,、uh, the verb to speak. 说说 Now, 说 is、uh, first tone. That's right. Let's hear it again, please, Jenny. 说
说。说。Yes. Sounds like sure. It's like somebody from New York <laughs> say, "Hey, sure." Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Mm. You sure about that? Yeah. Anyway. Sure. Um. So speak Chinese, Danny is. 说中文，说中文，说中文。嗯、mm. ，That's to speak Chinese. Yes. And the verb to be able to is 会，会。That's fourth tone. Fourth tone. Yeah. So let's put those、uh, together to be able to speak Chinese. 会说中文，会说。中文会说中文。嗯、mm. ，Okay. And then we have a at the beginning we had a a pronoun, did we not? Yes, we did. And it's 你，你，你。嗯、uh, ，As in you. Yes. Third、right. tone. So you speak Chinese. How do we say that? 你会说中文。All right, but we're creating a question here, so we put a particle at the end, also known as 妈。Ma, ah, and that's how the whole thing builds up. Yeah, let's have it、Indeed. in its entirety. Yes. 你会说中文吗？你会说中文吗 ？There you go. Hmm. Now, of course, you could substitute、uh, 中文 with you know any other one. Yes. And you could build up a lot of、uh, little、mm. sentences and questions. We're going to go through that right now because、uh, we want to push on with、yeah. this dialogue. Now, let's say you could speak. A wee bit of Chinese, you might say. 我会说一点，我会说一点。Now the pronoun changed here, so we have 我，我 as in I. Yes. Now we have the verb once again, fourth tone, the verb to be able to do something. 会，会 Let's put those two together, please, Jenny. 我会。我会。我会 means I can do it. Yes. Right. You'll hear kids or something. I'm able to do it. I'm able to do it. Yeah. Can you climb up on that? 我会。我会 mm. I can do it. Now we have again the verb to speak. 说，说。Right. 我会说。我会说。Mm. Now and a little bit. 一点，一点。Mm. The tones there are first and third. First and third. Let me just remind you, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, gentle listeners, that it's you know it's better to learn chunks of words together,、mm. right? So the expression a little bit is 一点一点一点 right? Now and to speak a little bit, 说一点说一点说一点 Now to be able to speak a little bit. 会说一点 ，and of course I can speak a little bit is 我会说一点。There you go. Patterns, patterns, patterns,、mm. patterns. Ah,、uh, you mentioned Lego. I think Lego was a very good analogy.、Yeah. Finding these little pieces, these high frequency chunks of language, and just slotting them together. Yes, that's really the key.、Mm. Learning them in chunks and then. Trying to sort of put them together with other things. Yeah,、chunks. and this dialogue is perfect. Yes, it is to demonstrate that. That's precisely right. Now、mm. the problem here is, so you said I can speak a little. So one more time, that was. 我会说一点 Now here for a Westerner, that would mean I can speak a little bit. It emphasizes a little bit. For a、yes. Chinese, they would interpret that to mean. 会说会说 <laughs> Oh, you can probably speak quite well. <laughs> so、uh, be careful with that. And so to follow up here, he he says. 你会说 Now there's the same pattern, yes. right? Ah,、uh, in the first sentence we had. 你会说中文吗 Can you speak Chinese? And now、mm. we have. 你会说英文吗 So we've substituted 中文 for 英文英文英文 And that is English. Yes. The English language.、Mm. Great. So let's compare them: Chinese and English. 中文英文，中文，英文。Interesting.、Mm. Now, so clearly, what our Western friend is doing here, he's saying, "Well, I can speak a little bit, but can you speak English?" Yeah. He's trying to sort of guide the conversation、yes. towards English because he's not confident about、mm. his Chinese. Welcome back to another installment of Chinese Pod Trivia. And the question for you is: For what test does Chinese Pod offer preparation services for? Is it A. the polygraph, B. the colonoscopy, C. the HSK test, or D. the CAT scan? Uh, the CAT scan? Ooh, sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer is C. the HSK test. That's right. Chinese Pod will thoroughly prepare you to pass this rigorous test of proficiency in Chinese. 
ChinesePod.com forward slash HSK. Ah, yes. Now, so what happens? 英文,我不会说。英文,我不会说. There you go. 英文, once again. English? English? Mm. 我不会说。我不会说. Now, the uh, pronoun is 我. 我. The verb is 不会. 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 Mm. Now, we had hui, fourth tone. Remember, we said that is to be able to do something. Yes. 我会 means I can do it. And here we have the negative. 不会, 不会. Good. And mm. with the pronoun, it sounds like 我不会. 我不会. Yes. Jenny, mm. don't say 我不会. I'm honest. Oh, come on. 我不会. 你会. <laughs> 我不会. 你会. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a childish way to go on, but it's good practice. <laughs> yes. Anyway, mm. but in this case, you add the verb at the end to yeah. speak, and so. 我不会说, As in, I can't speak. Mm. Uh, by implication, of course, I can't speak English. Yes. There you go. Well, now, as I said, this could happen in many places. Uh, you'll find in your travels, wherever that may be, that Chinese people are, are very friendly. And mm. quite often they'll come up and start to chat to you. And this is yeah. uh, fairly likely this type of uh, exchange. Yes. So let's listen to it three more times. Dialogue, first time. 你会说中文吗? 我会说一点。你会说英文吗? 英文,我不会说。Second time. 你会说中文吗? 我会说一点。你会说英文吗? 英文,我不会说。Third time. 你会说中文吗? 我会说一点。你会说英文吗? 英文,我不会说。Okay, mm. now, um, lots of nice patterns there. I can't stress the patterns enough. I really can't. Mm. I mean, it's all patterns. Yeah. yeah. So uh, there are a lot of them in this. Uh, so explore it, please, when you get time on ChinesePod.com. Mm. Um, another very useful thing, of course, is substituting, like changing, you know, languages, taking the same sentence and trying to substitute different yeah. languages for that. Can, can I ask you, how did you learn Chinese? How did I learn Spe Chinese? Yeah, especially at the beginning stage. Um, I never took lessons in it. Mm -hmm. um, well, I did. I, I went to classes for about uh, four days and then I just oh. I couldn't really handle it. it didn't you work were for a better me. teacher. I, <laughs> let's say that system didn't really work for me. Yeah. Uh, so what I did was I got a bunch of uh, tapes, cassettes, mm. or what it is, Back cassettes, in the day, in the day. and I got some kids' books with kind of kids' stories and pictures and words, uh. and I listened to the tapes and I, I read the stories and it went over and I kind of figured out, I kind of inferred the meaning, because mm. yeah. I, I, that to me is interesting. I don't know if that's interesting. Cognitive. Going, well, the, the thing about that is not only do you learn the stories and the words, but you guess and you piece it together and it is yeah. cognitive, but also kids' books are, you know, laden with culture and tradition and stuff. Yes. So you learn the stuff that kids learn in school. So you're kind of like, wow, there's mm. some cultural insights there. And I bet you picked up a lot of patterns, well, yeah. switching things for well, yourself. Well, exactly. Patterns mm. is definitely the way to go. Particularly with a, li a language like Chinese, mm. right? Over-analysis there will just kill yeah. your inspiration. You know what? What? I just found the answer to your bubbly, your ever-bubbly personality. Really? What is it? Because you study with children's books. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is to this day. Yeah, oh, so yeah. many benefits. No, definitely. I would strongly recommend to anyone mm. if you can get some kids' books out there. Yeah. Way to go. Mm. Okay. Speaking of which. It's time it's for time us to, to go. go. But we'll be back again tomorrow, will we not? Sure. Until then, you know, keep doing your Chinese part. I remember, I mean, with Chinese part, we've got lots of kids type stories as well. Yes, remember we those do. songs and, and songs? all that stuff? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. That's where they come from. Mm. Anyway, so we'll be back again tomorrow, but right now, time to say. Zai jian. Zai jian. 
As usual, ChinesePod provides an extensive selection of learning materials for this lesson on its website, www.chinesepod.com. You can access this lesson directly with the lesson number 0840. So just go to www.chinesepod.com slash 0840. And you will find a transcript, vocabulary, and much more. The link again, www.chinesepod.com slash 0840.